A 16-year-old boy has been charged with seven offenses after a break and enter at North Battleford last Sunday. RCMP say the teen broke into his ex-girlfriend's house and locked two 17-year-old girls inside. Both the girls were assaulted and had minor injuries. RCMP arrested the suspect and sent him to hospital for treatment because he had stabbed himself. He appeared in court the next day and was charged with a number of offenses, including assault with a weapon, two counts of forcible confinement, and possession of a weapon for a dangerous purpose. And still in North Battleford, Brad Pattison has been elected as the newest city councillor. Pattison beat out six others who were running for the seat. The by-election was held earlier this week and the official results were released this morning. Last night, we introduced you to a Lloydminster resident who's frustrated by the influx of homeless people into the city during the summer months. Tonight, we tell you about a local group's plans to count the city's homeless. Robert Buffum has the details. Work there. Yeah. yeah. Staff at the Lloydminster Men's Shelter are gearing up for another busy night. With increasingly cold weather, they expect more and more people crashing here. And in an effort to get a better handle on the homeless problem, they've organized a citywide count aimed at identifying Lloyd's unique needs. To get funding, say, for an outreach worker or to just implement any unique strategies, whether it be helping to um, develop more affordable housing or uh, dealing with some of the overcrowded situations. The count will help in developing a business plan and strategy, but certain needs, like a youth shelter, have already been identified. The shelter has 28 beds here for people to spend the night, and in order to stay here, you have to be sober. Staff say when they brought in a mandatory breathalyzer back in March, numbers dropped from the maximum 28 down to about 8. They've since crept up to about 12 or 15 a night on average. In fact, staff here say the lack of a wet shelter in town for those under the influence of booze is another glaring problem. And on cold winter nights, um, there's really just no place to go other than down by the tracks or wherever you can get under a... Um, a building somewhere. And Wright says it's important people understand that the count will include more than just those living on the street, but also people couch surfing and those at risk of losing their homes. Is we're not just counting the visible homeless. The visible homeless are those people that perhaps you see um, living by the tracks or sitting on the bench all day downtown. The October 12th count will take place at five spots across the city, including the Lloyd Mall, the Men's Shelter and the Salvation Army, where individuals or families are encouraged to drop in. There will also be volunteers walking the streets in an effort to count the visibly homeless. Anyone wishing to volunteer is asked to call the Men's Shelter. Robert Buffum, New Cap News. That was quite the scene outside of Ocole St. Simon this afternoon. Hundreds of energetic students were running laps around the park that surrounds their school. Jack Haskins tells us that these youngsters are running in the memory of Canadian legend Terry Fox. There was no shortage of excitement from these kids. They all gathered in the gym for a short tribute to Terry Fox and then it was on. We really want awareness and, and uh, for this great event and we want the students to feel connected to who this Canadian hero was and then do something active as well to celebrate that. The kids had 40 minutes to run as many laps around the field as they could. And they carry a stick with them and they set a personal goal before they start running of how many laps they think that they can do in the 40 minutes that we're running and as they pass by a teacher they can get a, a little line on their stick and they can keep track of how many laps so they try to beat their personal best or you know make a goal with a friend and, and run with them as well. Running around the park for the better part of an hour may sound like a lot of work but these youngsters had a blast. Well we're thinking of just running out there just hanging out with each other. It doesn't really matter how many laps you do just as long as you do one. The school has put on this fundraising event for several years and they always seem to get a great response from the students and their parents. We as teachers feel it's important that they can identify with someone who, who, who suffered and, and, and worked hard and believed in something and fought hard and had that perseverance and those are all skills and, that we want our students to aspire to. To these kids, it doesn't really matter how many laps you do because it's all about having fun and remembering a great Canadian hero. Jack Haskins, Newcap News.